Howdy guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Baker Barbecue. We've been gone for a while, but we're back and we are cooking something delicious. We are back on our UDS again today. You guys know how much I love that smoker. It is awesome, it's great, and we're going to cook some delicious food on it today. That's what I got. Two delicious racks of St. Louis style ribs. Oh, and what we're going to do with those guys, you guys know how much I love my Pride of Sedgid, right? You guys know that. I found Rib Rub. Pride of Sedgid Rib Rub. I'm so excited about this. Mm, this is going to be good stuff, guys. Look, here, this is, uh, what's in here? Uh, salt, sugar, brown sugar, ground spices, including paprika, garlic, onion, mustard, chili powder, and then an anti-caking agent. So, I'm telling you, Pride of Sensi, this stuff is good. I wish they would sponsor me. That'd be awesome, right? As much as I promote their product, you'd think they would. We're using the 2-2-1 method on our ribs today. So we're going to get our smoker up to temp right about 225 is where we want to be. And then we're going to put our ribs on, just let them smoke for two hours. We're going to take them off, wrap them. Put some delicious stuff on them. I don't know, maybe some brown sugar or some butter. We'll decide for sure once I see what they look like. And once I get in my cupboard and see what I've got here. Then we're going to wrap them guys up. Put them back on the smoker. Keeping it at 225 for two more hours. Then we're going to unwrap them. Just, just experience the awesomeness that is being unwrapped. And then we're going to put them back on the smoker for one more hour. And that's basically just going to sort of create that nice bark on those ribs again. <clears throat> it's going to be so good. We're going to finish them off with some of this sauce. Stingray's Rib Sauce. Now, Stingray's is a, if you guys don't know, it's down on the eastern shore in Virginia. And it is, it's a restaurant slash sort of eastern shore gift shop. It's, uh, it's a really cool place. We, we're down uh, in Virginia Beach visiting family the other weekend and drove up the eastern shore and stopped there and I saw this and said I'm doing a rib video soon I'm gonna try this sauce so that's what we're doing hopefully it'll be good I'm sure it will I have no doubts but I'm sure it'll be good we'll be fine so in addition to all of that we do have one more thing we're gonna be throwing this on the smoker too this is a Hatfield two pound pork butt, just a little pork butt portion. Uh, Texas Smokehouse, it's one of those ones that's been pre-seasoned in the package. So all I'm gonna do with that guy is basically just open it up and plop it on the smoker and put that on with there with the ribs and let it cook. See how that turns out. Yummy, yummy. All right, guys, I gotta get these ribs seasoned up, get some, uh, some of that Delicious Prada Session rib seasoning. Get my UDS set up. Get that thing up to temp. So, uh, give me a few minutes, guys. I'll bring you back when, uh, when we're setting up the UDS. Show you a little bit of that. Stay tuned. All right, boys and girls, here we are outside getting our UDS set up. Most of you guys are familiar with the uh, old ugly drum smoker. This one's mine. Here we've got our charcoal basket. We're doing the minion method, which is uh, my preferred method to use in my UDS. We've got our charcoal going there. We're gonna pop that right in the center there and throw some hickory wood on there. We're just gonna be smoking with hickory today. So, just got a few minutes, let that guy get ready. We're gonna pop it right down in there, get the temp, and then we got some ribs to put on. And don't forget about that little two pound butt. It's going to be yummy, guys. Stick with me. We'll be back. Guys, here we are. We are outside. We got our UDS going. We just popped our meat on the grill. We're about to close it up and let it cook. Let me show you guys what we got on there. Right, here we go, guys. Look at that. I know it's pretty smoky, so I hope you can see that okay. But we got our two St. Louis-style ribs and our two-pound little Texas Smokehouse pork butt. Everything's going to be yummy. We're going to close this up, let it cook for our two hours, and then we'll be back to check and wrap those ribs. Stay tuned, guys. This is going to be good. Guys, it's been our two hours. 
the first portion of time in our 2 2 1 method for cooking our ribs. And man, they look good. So there's our little pork butt. Oh, let me show you this. Oh, it looks so good. We are, guys. Look at that. I told you they were looking good. Look at the texture we've got on that. Already pulling away from the bones. Mm mm. There's our little two pound pork butt. That's looking mighty fine, too. Mm. There's our other rib. Man, this just looks yummy. We're going to go ahead and uh, get ourselves just a quick read on our temperature on that pork butt. I know we're a long way from being done, but I'm just curious where we are. Oh, wow, look at that. We're, we might, yeah, we're just going to leave that alone. We're not going to wrap that or anything. That's looking pretty good, huh? I'm impressed. All right, that might actually be coming off before our uh, two and one, before our three more hours on these things. So we're gonna we're gonna pull everything off. We're gonna wrap them. I got a nice little surprise. What we're gonna put in that wrap with the ribs? Mm, it's gonna be yummy, guys. Stick with me. I'll show you right now. Hold on. All right, here we are. We got our ribs inside, and it's time to wrap them. What we're going to do to wrap these beautiful bad boys, we're going to sprinkle some brown sugar on them. Right about that much. Rub that in. And our special secret ingredient is going to be just a little bit of spiced rum. Now, one of the things that I used to do, guys, before I got into smoking, when I wanted to make ribs, I would just take the ribs and put them in a little aluminum pouch with some spiced rum, similar to what I'm doing here, bake them in the oven at 250 for about three hours, and then I'd take them out of the packet and put them on my gas grill, basically to form the bark and get the barbecue sauce on them. And man, they were always so good. So we're just... Uh, Paying a little homage to that recipe, just on all on the smoker. It should be delicious. So what we want to do, now right now we've got those meat side up. When we put this back on the smoker, we want to put it that meat side down. Make sure that meat side's down. So all that deliciousness, all that brown sugar, that rum, all the sauce that's going to come out of those ribs is going to be soaking up. That meat side is going to be soaking that up. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be so good. So we want to make sure that we wrap it right. So, meat side's up right now. Now, meat side is down. So we know right there where it sits, that's how we want it to go back on the smoker. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. That's all we got to do. We're ready to go back on the smoker for our second two hours. And then, you know what happens after that? We open that bad boy back up, put it on the smoker for one more hour to get our bark back on there, put some sauce on it. Oh yeah, we had to call an audible here. We had to make a little change. That uh, barbecue sauce that I showed you earlier, that stingray stuff. It was horrible. It was not very good. We got the rib sauce, it wasn't good. We got a jar of their regular barbecue sauce, too. Figured, hey, the rib sauce wasn't good. Let's try the barbecue sauce. It wasn't good either. It wasn't good. It was not good. Mm -mm. So we've got a variety of sauces. We've got, uh, let's see, we've got some famous Dave's Devil Spit. We've got some Stub Sweet Heat. We've got some famous Dave's Sweet and Zesty. And, of course, some Sweet Baby Ray's laying around. So... We'll figure out what we're going to use here in a little while. We'll let the boy decide what he wants on some of his, too. So, we'll see. I'll let you know when the decision-making time has happened and when we're putting the sauce on the ribs, then you'll know what we're using. For now, i got to get this other rib wrapped up and get these guys back on the smoker because we're wasting cooking time, guys! Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. All right, here we are, guys! It's been another two hours. Things are smelling... Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It's time to 
check on this stuff right here. Got my Jamie Hamsters. Oh, yeah. All right. First thing we're going to do is check on that pork butt. See how that's looking. We know we want that right about 195 to 202 is what I usually shoot for. And it's it's getting up there. I don't know if you can see that one, or not. It's dark. The sun's in my face. One there's there's 190. All right, we might have to leave that on there for a little while. Yep, it's it's stopping right about 191. Still rising a little bit. There it goes. It's stopping. All right, so we got to leave that on there for just a little while longer. Look how cute that thing is. Oh. That cute little butt, isn't it? Tiny little tushy. <laughs> We're just gonna flip it over. We flipped it once. We're gonna flip it again. Look at the look at the caramelization, the crust, the bark, whatever you want to call it. Man, that just looks good. Mm, we're going to leave that right there like that. Now, we got to open up those ribs. Sorry about the camera skills, but the sun is up yeah, on us. It's a weird glare out here. Mm. Camera girl is trying to do her best. Hope it's okay, guys. We all know camera girl does a great job, so... If this one isn't perfect, we're going to blame it on the sun. <laughs> All right, we got to get in here. Open these guys up. Oh, look at, oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, just <laughs> come on. Here's a little liberty flip. So that'll make the dog happy. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It smells ridiculous. Ridiculously good. Oh my god. Smell of vision. I can't wait till that's invented. Oh you guys seriously. I mean just Look at the way it's pulling away. This is just... I don't know what they can see with the sun glaring on the screen. I'm sure they can see deliciousness. Ooh. Unbelievable. All right, let's get those gloves off. Because we're going to add a little bit of barbecue sauce right now. Let that sit on there for about a half an hour on that side. Then we're going to flip it over. Barbecue sauce the other side. The uh, the boy has chosen for his. He wants to go with the good old classic Sweet Baby Ray's. So that's what we're gonna do for him. So we're gonna we're just gonna squirt some on. That's all we're gonna do right there. Just squirt it on. Mm -hmm. We got a brush. We'll we'll fix it up. I've chosen to go with a little famous Dave's Sweet and Zesty. Mm-hmm. Life is no fun without a little zest of spice. Same thing, we're just gonna pop it on. And we got the brush. I'm gonna do the boy's rib first. So as not to contaminate his with my sauce, because I don't really care if my rib gets a little Sweet Baby Ray's mixed in with my zesty sauce. I'm not mad at that. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna mix it all together. Mm -hmm. Make something yummy. And there goes my foil. I had that for my pork butt. I was gonna wrap that foil up in my, I was gonna wrap that pork butt in that foil. Didn't need to be wrapped yet. So it was like, I'm useless now. I'm just gonna run away. And that's what it did. That's all right. We'll go get it. We'll find a use for it later. All right. All right, guys, we're done here. We're gonna come back in about a half an hour, 40 minutes and check everything, flip them, barbecue sauce the other side. And then about 30 minutes after that, we're gonna be done. We're gonna be taking these off. We got some baked beans to cook. Camera Girl made a delicious potato salad to go with everything too. We're gonna be eating good very soon. Stay with me, it's gonna be fun. We'll see you soon. Right, it's been that one half hour, 30 minutes, maybe 32, maybe. 
37. I don't know. I, w I was busy making beans and, well, camera girl made the beans. I do I things. was busy drinking a cocktail. I sure was. Mm-hmm. That was good, too. It was a nice cocktail half hour. Oh, right. Oh, look at the way that sauce caramelized on that. So I don't ribs. know if you can see it because the sun is shining on the oh. screen. We know from the last video that we previewed that you guys can see that just fine. I'm the blind one. We're going to put a temperature check in our pork roast again. See where that's at. Look at that guy go. Oh, it's done. He burned it. 192. I didn't <laughs> burn it. Look at 90, 99. 200. 200. 201. Oh, this is going to be delicious, guys. 202, it's perfect. 202.5. Yep. It, oh, it hit 203. We're going to, we're going to, we're just going to ignore it going any higher than that because we don't want it to be overcooked. But, oh, it's going to pull apart and be juicy and delicious. I promise you. We do have to take that off. That's what that foil's for. Remember our runaway foil? There we Not go. this time. Now this time it's not running anywhere. We're gonna wrap our butt. Wrap the butt. The butt, butt, butt. Did you see the way he smacked my little tushy around? Wow. Oops. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> we got these ribs. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is looking good. We're not even gonna put that. And bring it back. Oh! It's falling apart. Mmm. Oh. That fell off. I did it. Oh my god. Mm hmm. That was the boy's rib. <laughs> mm. I'm that telling. portion <laughs> of the boy's rib, rib was mine. <coughs> Alright. We gotta get some sauce on these guys. We got sauce up the last side. Mm hmm. A little bit of sweet baby rays on that. Mm hmm. Thank you, camera girl. Best helper ever. You're a mess. If you guys don't have a camera girl to help you out, you're just missing out on life. Mm hmm. Spread that on them. Get some of that on them. Mm. Thirty minutes. All right, guys. Everything is looking good. Not thirty-seven. We're gonna give them. Yeah, we're we're not going thirty-seven. That's gonna be too long. We're gonna go closer to twenty-five to thirty on these. Basically, just long enough to let that sauce set up and get caramelized good. Because the ribs are cooked. They don't need any more time. But that sauce needs to caramelize up on there. I don't know where to go. Mm. You're doing a good job, camera girl. Thank you. To the ribs. To the ribs. That's all they need. Just let that sauce set up. And then we're going to bring you guys back. And we're going to... Break up some pork butt, make some pulled pork. We're gonna chop up some ribs, show you that. Show you that delicious potato salad and those baked beans. We're gonna plate everything up and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. It's almost time for the good stuff. Stay with me. All right, guys, here we are. Now, just a quick little preview. We're gonna do a little bit of this uh, pork butt. Look at that, I don't even need a knife. Why did, why did I even use a knife? I don't know. Look at the way that pulls apart. Mm, look at the way that pulls apart. That is delicious. Wow, at least mm. it pulls apart. We don't know how it tastes yet. Mm. He's overstepping. I'll tell you how it tastes right now. Look at that. Don't burn See yourself. See that? See that? He's going to burn himself. That is pretty good. It smells nice. Mm hmm. Honestly, guys, for uh, uh, you know, a tiny little pork butt. It's been pre-seasoned by the manufacturer or, you know, whoever did it. I don't know. It was on sale. That's actually pretty freaking good. I'm impressed by that. 
I'm gonna pull the rest of this. Look, look at that. I mean, that is just falling apart. Mm. We're gonna pull apart the rest of that, separate the meat from the fat, and then we'll be right back with the ribs because we're gonna chop them up too and show you all the deliciousness. Oh, you just, again, stay with me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Camera girl still chewing. She, she can't stop. It's so good. Look what I got in the rain. It's good. Got some ribs. Uh, try to slice them up. But they're falling apart. Look at that. It's just, uh, seriously, guys. Look at that. You know, I know there's two schools on this. There's the guys that like to fall off the bone tenderness. And there's the guys that still like that little bit of chew. I like them like that. And to me, this right there, camera girl, can you focus in on, just focus in on that deliciousness. Oh my goodness. That's the way I like my ribs. I know what I'm supposed to be looking at now. Oh. He's messing with me. That's what I do. I <laughs> that looks good. We got baked beans. We got the pulled pork. I showed you that a minute ago. It's really good, guys. This is a pretty amazing barbecue night dinner. And we're going to go sit down and enjoy it. Watch a movie. Sunny night. Got to go back to work tomorrow. Ugh. Ugh. It is right. But we got this delicious meal that we get to enjoy before we have to do that. And I don't have and many dishes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, enjoy your meal. I know I'm gonna. This is Baker Barbecue. And I'll see you next time.